It's called solar jet lag. It's a relatively unexplored area, so that's one reason why we chose to pursue it. Dr. Trang Vo Pham is an assistant professor of epidemiology at Fred Hutch. She studies how environmental factors like daylight exposure impact our health. So solar jet lag is the difference in light exposure experienced by people based on their geographic location within a time zone. Longer daylight exposure is something many in the PNW get excited about. We love later sunsets, right? But while extending daylight hours into the evening might seem beneficial for us socially, Vofam says it can create a disconnect in our body's natural biological clock. It is actually light in the morning that helps keep our biological clocks on the right time. So the increase in light in the evening leads to later bedtimes, more sleep disruption, ultimately less sleep, as well as a misalignment between our circadian system, or in other words, our internal biological clock, and our daily schedules. To note, this has nothing to do with what's known as seasonal affective disorder, which is a form of depression linked to low serotonin and vitamin D levels due to reduced sunlight. Instead, solar jet lag has to do with our positioning within a time zone. This map demonstrates this concept. Within each time zone in the U.S., Eastern, Central, Mountain, and Pacific Standard Time, there are subzones as shown in these colors. The black portion is the western edge within the time zone, while yellow is in the eastern edge. As an example, Vofam compared the amount of daylight in Seattle within a black region versus Las Vegas in the yellow region, two cities that follow the same Pacific Standard Time. But because of their geographic location within the time zone, the cities see significant differences in when the sun rises and sets. People living in the western region of a time zone, like Seattle, they are exposed to sunlight later in the day, suppressing melatonin release so they can become tired later, go to sleep later, but they still have to wake up at the same time as those who live in the eastern region of the same time zone. Vofam's research suggests this can mess up our internal clocks, leading to similar feelings of jet lag. Springing forward for daylight saving time can worsen this as it pushes daylight later in the morning hours. To combat this, she suggests using window shades to limit light exposure at bedtime and maximize light exposure in the morning by waking up with special lamps. Vofam understands it's a balance, and these findings shouldn't discourage people from enjoying the long summer days, but... If you do find yourself in this cycle where you're just not as tired in the evening and then pretty exhausted the next day, there may be a reason for that, and there is something within your control. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei reporting.